Hello, welcome to the Islanders Podcast. My name is James. My name is Daniel. And my name is Yen. And I'm Minnie. Today we're going to continue to talk about our parents, yeah. uh, namely Yen's and Daniel's parents, <laughs> yeah. and about their hopes and dreams and what else, whatever else they talked uh, about. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so yeah. let's start with Yen. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah, fine. So please tell us your stories about your parents. Okay, so I think my mom goes first, okay? So uh, my mom was born in uh, 1964, I, I remember, it's 1964, mm-hmm. and she was born in Kaohsiung, southern part of Taiwan, and he, she was born in a a farmer's family mm. yeah and as well um, she do all farmers work when she was little <laughs> just as all, all those farmers kids at that era and then she get to uh, get to uh, junior high senior then then senior high after she graduated she had to found a job in the town so um, where my mom lived was in the mountains not close to the town so she had to get to the town and just find some work work there so the first work she she's she got was uh, a uh, uh, waitress in my one of his, one of her uncle's uh, restaurant. Oh. Yeah, there's um, at that time there's a Western restaurant was really was a, a kind of fancy mm. in Taiwan. Yeah, so what that uh, Western style re- restaurant. So she was working there as a wait- waitress. Then um, after be- working as a waitress for like two or three months, um, she keeps uh, finds a, a different kinds of part time jobs. Then she was introduced to get to um, Tainan City to get to into not from the town, get into the city and work as a nurse oh. or assistant, nurse assistant. So um, so why did she get uh, become a nurse assistant? The reason why is that um, the nurse assistant at that time uh, they provide dormitory and also provide food for them though the salary salary was um kind of really really, really low at that time but she, she was mere, merely a senior high school graduated so um there's no not there's not no so not so many jobs that she can find that was very great so she found that yeah there's a dormitory there and there's a um there's a there, there's food they provide so she went there and worked as a nurse assistant for the rest of five or six years. Then she, um, then she saved some money and uh, tried to take uh, national exams to become uh, a, a, a still an assistant. Wor- uh, assistance, I think, it's called a um, assistance uh, paperwork. Uh, they, she do assistant paperwork for like government and administ- administrations, mm-hmm. but it's still it was still uh, like you have to take national in- exams to get the, that work. So then she um, she just worked as as um, she just did that work for the next twenty years. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's her background. So she was like some uh, some country girls, just um, uh, step by step get into the city. Yeah, that's that's her story. Yeah. So, how about her hopes and dreams at that time? Oh, yeah. What were what were what was she thinking at that time? I asked her about if she she would like to get into like get into university, get into college or something. And she told told me that she was not so good at learning. Mm-hmm. And at that time, when she was um and when she was studying in high school, she also have to she she also has to like get back to to support her family support her father yeah because um uh, she was a uh, he only has had a father and, and my grandma was was died um a long time ago so she had to support her family when she was um, studying in high school so at that time they were poor and so um they faced a lot of stress and pressure um just just uh, trying to stay alive mm-hmm. they they have to pay a lot of effort so um as she told me her dream at that time when she first got when she got her first job is tr- trying to save money and get one scooter so she can get to the work more e- efficient since um she had to get from her family in mount her house in mountain and get to the town and get to the city it takes a long time yeah so she wants to get a scooter at that time yeah that, that's her dream yeah very oh, cool. very strict very practical very practical. Well. Yeah. Very yeah. practical and very suited for that time as well for yeah. that time in yeah. her in her life yeah yeah so how about any pressures or any fears at that time i she, she told me that her fear at that time just is is that to survive 
Okay, yeah. So well, it's it's really it's fear. really harsh yeah, for me. Fear, yeah. yeah, it's really harsh for me. So mm-hmm. it be because in my life I didn't have to wear, worry about if mm-hmm. I I'm going to not able to support myself or my family cannot support myself. Yeah. But for, for her, her family cannot support her. Mm-hmm. She has to support her family. Yeah. yeah. So that's very very different. She have to work extra hours to support her family mm-hmm. back in the mountain. So that also makes her that. She, she cannot maybe maybe she cannot have enough time to study well or maybe to like focus on a certain job or skill very well. She cannot always concentrate. Here. She have to find part. She have to find part time jobs to support yeah. her families. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's yeah that's really mind blowing for me. Is that um, how how like how, how harsh for her to just to survive in the world and to support her families, her close relatives. Yeah. Yeah. I think it always fascinates me how high the stakes were. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because yeah. for us, maybe if we can't get a job to support ourselves, yeah. then our parents would still step in and and help us. Right? Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of in a way, like if we really, really, really can't find a job, of course yeah, we yeah, want yeah. to support ourselves, but it's not that high stakes, right? Yeah, yeah. it's not life and life and death, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what what surprises me most is always the yeah the, you know, the, the, the realness, realness or the harshness. Yeah. Of That's really hardcore. You have to every, every month yeah, of Taiwan in, yeah. in like. 20, 30 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. From the agriculture society turning into just gra- gradually like getting better, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's pra- practical. I um I once think maybe my I once thought my mom maybe have some other things to t- t- told me about, but she just told me that um mm-hmm. um you have to be persistent. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to struggle to live. Mm-hmm. That's her quote. <laughs> Yeah. You have to struggle to live. Yeah. That, 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 that's her like philosophy of um, getting all around. Because um, my family wasn't that good since even since I was small. So mm-hmm. even since I was in elementary, elementary school, the e- economic state of my family is not quite good. Yeah. So we were gradually getting better um, in like these ten years. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I can understand how they're struggling, but <laughs> struggling too to to survive the level of surviving. Is still still like um, still still strikes me very hard. Yeah. 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 That that's my mom's story. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Very very interesting and uh, very very true <laughs> yeah. too. True. Yeah. You know, it feels really like some like my relatives' stories as well. Uh, you know, so yeah. we hear a lot of these stories uh, in our childhood. Yeah. 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 And I guess that's why they think we're soft and <laughs> yeah, yeah, very yeah. comfortable <laughs> and living and and, and yeah. surely in some way we are. But yeah, yeah. Of course, we but, also but have our own struggles. Yeah. 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 We are strong. Own, we are strawberries. It's a really different, uh, different era, different yeah. times. Different times. Maybe we're, we're struggle. Maybe are not that uh, mm-hmm. biological, or maybe yeah, yeah. Yeah. Survi- survival stuff. Maybe, maybe psychological, psychologically, mentally. mentally you know, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then my dad. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my dad also. He he comes from an even more poorer like village, and um, or even or even like in the mountains. He he was uh, he he al- he always ha- had to like um, get. To different kinds of farm works or different kinds of part-time job, even since he was in junior high school, to support mm-hmm. his family, and so. Uh, but also in a very rural, in part a very of Taiwan, very rural right? part in Taiwan, I hear about your stories going home oh. every New Year, and then it's oh, like, yeah, you have to come <laughs> off across the mountain, yeah, across the mountain, no yeah, 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 in yeah, your yeah. hometown, yeah, it's very, very far away from the very, city. very far away, yeah. So. Um, uh, but but he can he worked very hard and my my dad is a good uh, athlete when he was in high school Ooh. he played volleyball wow. and also he was very good at studying hmm. so he, he's just a strange person <laughs> he had to work very hard but also he was smart so he do very good on tests and he gets into the only high school in his um, in his whole county the Taidong mm. County is the east part in the the ru- most rural area mostly rural area there in Taiwan in Taiwan yeah, yeah. so he gets into the high school yeah the story of him getting into high school is also very fascinating for me <laughs> so um what he told me that um since he was the like the uh, the fourth child of his family but mm-hmm. uh, his family was really really poor so my grandpa had to get to um another part of taiwan to like find a part-time job there in kaohsiung mm-hmm. there's a like a there's a harbor there they had to find a work- working job there a labor job there so to support his family so uh, once uh, my grandpa w- w- um, wasn't sure if he should like uh, ask help my dad get into uh, junior high school, a uh, senior high school. So at, at that time, senior high school, maybe you should you can skip senior high school and just go just get directly get to work 
at that era. So um, my grandpa was not that sure, and her family's economic sta- economic status was not that co- not not good. So um, he was thinking that he may have not had no chance to get into the high school. So after the high school entrance exam, he and lots of his classmates um, just um, th- know that he passed the exam and mm. he can get into the high school. But he knows that maybe her, his family cannot support him. But uh, so he just he's get depressed and he didn't want to like sign in to the high school. Mm-hmm. But her classmate, his his classmate, encouraged him to just get signed in. Maybe there's chance. Maybe there's opportunity. So he just gets uh, signed in together with his classmates. Then after my grandpa get into um, Kaohsiung Harbor to have labor work, um, my grandpa met um, his like supervisor. Oh. And talked to him, and mm-hmm. his supervisor told him that you should, um, even though the even though the money is, yeah, you it's don't tight. have money. His money is very right? tight. Yeah. You have to uh, ask. You have to make your Give son education. into education, mm-hmm. you get better education, then he can get better chance. So my grandpa changed his mind, and uh, when he get back to Taidong, and just um, he decided to support my dad to get into the uh, high school. So. That's a hard story. That's high school. It's touching. <laughs> yeah. For me, high school is just given for granted. So I just yeah. get it. I don't have to worry anything about getting into high school. Then he have to face that kind of struggle. Yeah. And the university, the same same condition comes with when my dad is deciding whether he, he can go to university or not. Because he was, um, he has good, um, he, he got good grades and he he got into he got the certificate get to get into the police uh, police university but um, and also a, an educational university so he would he would like tend tended to get to the um, education university to become a teacher he, and uh, come, rather than being become a police but um, the education system didn't provide him like um, the um, Scholarships? scholarship yeah but the police give him scholarship uh, and my grandpa asked him to get into get with, go with a scholarship mm-hmm. and he did not want that so actually at that time he's a bit um uh, resistive to his family <laughs> so he decided not to get to university and directly directly get to the military service and after two years of military service he's now uh, 22 just as my age mm-hmm. now here so uh, as uh, as my age just as Minnie's father he finished my, his military service and gets um, started to started work working and he decided to get to Taipei since he was from a rural area and he wants to get into the big cities to mm-hmm. like having more opportunities having more getting uh, gr- grander visions so he gets in so, so he take buses take trains and first visited Taipei and he was awed wow this is city yeah and he worked there he do some part-time jobs and he just uh he do some part-time jobs and um, saved money for trying to get into universities Mm -hmm. so after like four uh, four years of struggle he um finally have the chance to get into taiwan university um in the law school in ta- law school wow. of Taiwanese wow. Taiwan University, wow. <laughs> but he didn't finish the university. That's another story. But I, There's maybe, so many twists. So in this many twists story. In, in his life. So I, maybe I cannot cover the the uh, unfinished, uncompleted university life. But um, since he get into the Taiwanese university, and at that time, actually, it was like um, 1986, 87 or 86. Mm. Uh, no, it's 85, 1985. It's actually as the time of Taiwan is gradually turning, turning uh, gradually abandoning the martial law and trying to become a real democracy society. Mm-hmm. So at that time, actually, Ta- uh, National Taiwan University, the law school students, are really proactive and are they're, they're taking protests protests on on streets they're taking strikes on streets so actually i think my dad at that time was a, a bit hipster <laughs> at, that, at that period of time so he also joined them he joined se- some of them because he had to support his life he, he didn't have that that much of time but lots of his classmates go to strikes Liber- mm-hmm. liberals. liberals liberals yeah 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 they mm-hmm. fight for like democracy freedom mm-hmm. sp- freedom of speech some, something like that yeah and um, so um, I, th- I think 
I think his dream at that period of time, at 22, is is very direct, it, very simple. It's just trying to save money to get yeah. into university. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and wow. that that's what he hoped. So um, he worked very hard and he worked different part-time jobs t- um, at the same time. And since uh, he he was he was very good he was uh, also from the rural area and at that time taiwanese people had a kind of kind of city rural area there, there's a discrimination to the uh, indigenous people of taiwan and he was from rural area and lots of his friends and families and neighbors are uh, are indigenous people mm-hmm. and he was regarded as indigenous people oh, since okay, he, yeah. he had black skin and his his um like his accent was not that um, city, that towns, <laughs> townspeople. So he was discriminated at that time, and he mm-hmm. found very angry about it. So that was main part of his that was, pressure, stress. Yeah, that's a, fear, a lot of yeah. fear and stress, stress for him, mm-hmm. and he try strive to break through all yeah. of that. It's quite amazing, story, yeah. you know, trying, yeah. trying to break uh, break the you know stereotypes. Yeah, 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 break yeah. The very many difficulties that comes, you know, yeah, yeah, from yeah, moving yeah. from a rural area into a city. Right? Yeah. yeah, he also told me a story that I think somewhat um, changed his ch- changed his um, attitude of dealing with all different kinds of things. He wh- he said that he had a, once had a part time job. He had to like ride his scooters to send. Um, to send some uh, like the latest medical books from the international studies to all those hospitals. He, he he's the he's the like the he, he's a like he have to send all these books to like a mailman some, oh, some okay. something like that. So uh, once he uh, he he had an accident, and those like those very latest uh, medical books, very uh, very heavy, very hard. Hard covered uh, medical books were fell into the the fell into a river in Taipei, and he he just got he, he got he got um, very anxious. He and just get pick them up, and um, he found that uh, all those covers are like get dirty, ruined. Yeah, are ruined, and he was very anxious since those books worth um, even. Even one book's worth more than his, his a whole month's salary. Wow! So he just figured out a way. He's wanting to send paper and script, scrape all the, those um, dirt down, and yeah, trying to hide his mistakes. And after that incident, he become a man of uh, cautious. Oh, you know, he, he, he will have to deal with everything cautiously. Yes. Yeah, and you you don't 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 you dare to like gamble on. All kinds of details. Just try to make things right in um, in, in any method you can take. Yeah. So he become the the man of somewhat uh, very cautious and very uh, still still very persistent, but a bit a bit too um cont- to want think always want things to be in control and a bit a bit like um some somewhat um a bit uh, phobia about things getting wrong. Yeah, what a so, transformation! Yeah, yeah, what a, that's a that's a huge transformation. Yeah, since it's like you you have to like transport um a luxurious like some jewelries and you um accidentally just uh, have it still stolen. Yeah, that that is very scary for him at that time. I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, it sounds like your dad your dad can be a good scientist. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very no, cautious. he didn't have the chance to, chance to be the scientist. He was bad as ma- at math. At math. Okay. <laughs> Just the same as me. <laughs> yeah, he was bad at math. So he studied law school. Yeah, that, that's his choice. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Daniel, let's hear your story. Sorry. Um, let's hear your I only had a chance story. to interview my mom. Okay, yeah. Yes. And mm-hmm. um, the background of my mom, um, she, her hometown is Pingdong, the southeast part of Taiwan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when they graduated from high school, uh, she decided to uh, find study in Taipei. Oh, okay, yeah. But um, that's be- a very, very long way. Yeah, <laughs> three hundred kilometers. From, yes, you know. So I think part of I think she she was quite brave. Mm-hmm. Uh, she dared to dared to travel all the way to Taipei yeah. alone mm-hmm. without support from her family. Yeah. Uh, because because uh, she had to make a living, so she studied uh, night school. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite hardcore because she have to work from maybe 8 a.m. 
to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And after lunch, and you have to, to school. Yeah, to go to a night school. Yeah. So they all the way to 9 p.m. Yeah. And then go and then went home. Oh, that's very exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So maybe I think um, the great challenge um, at that time for her is trying to make a living. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And study hard to make an achievement in in acted. In academic work. academic yes, yes. Uh, and that time she also uh, she worked she found a uh, four part-time jobs oh wow mm -hmm. four yeah. part-time jobs not at the same time wow. not at the same time okay but her yeah, first, yeah, still, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yes her first first job is working in a family factory yeah mm -hmm. yes it's a short-term job and later she found um she worked in a um gallery gallery Ooh, Ooh. yes as an assistant uh -huh. yeah just do something Maybe just some paperwork, right? Paper. Paperwork, and then be the assistant in another company, and later she works as a sales mm -hmm. assistant in one of a um, larger company. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, in college, she majors in um, econ economics. You know, economics. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's maybe have something to do with. Uh, her later careers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. And after she graduated from high, uh, from university, she was in the big companies uh. um, for maybe four to six years. Hmm. Um, but at, at that time, the com at that time, um, the company did not seize opportunity. So, so she seems that like maybe she and change another job. Oh, change the job because yes. the company didn't provide her the opportunities, it's, maybe. Yeah. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So at that time, um, she was quite panicked and anxious and don't know how to do. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, um, but she was lucky that she has some, she got some help from mm. um, some of my, uh, his her real su supervisor. Supervisor. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. yeah mm -hmm. So. She attends some courses and finally yeah. become an um, insurance sales. Oh, insurance sales, yeah. Yes, and she like it because it's, it has much more freedoms. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It'll be flexible of your working mm -hmm. time, yeah. And, and, and working she, with people, working with mm -hmm. connections. Yeah, yeah she that's, also that's found um, um, uh, achievement, sense of achievement in this yeah. job mm -hmm. because uh, she believes that uh, selling insurance to those in need can yeah. help them their life in the future. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So she's was uh, she's quite satisfied with her job, mm -hmm. and she's she's now still an insurance sales, mm -hmm. maybe a part time farmer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's pretty much my mom's background. Mm. Wow. So, so how about her dreams at that time? Um. At that time, uh, at her 22, yeah. I think her dream is quite similar to your parents, just yeah. to um, make a living, make, make more she money. Yeah. Yes, yes, but after she had a family, um, she changed her mind. She want, also she still wants to be um, make more money, uh -huh. enough to support uh, our family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that we can don't no longer worry about the financial problem. Yeah, and support their kids. Yes. Their, their kids, right? Yes. Also, one of the, her dream was quite touching because huh. uh, she um, she wants to take care of our family and accompany um, her kids, which yeah. is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, being an insurance sales, yeah. she managed to achieve that. Yeah. Yes. Um, as for her greatest fear and challenge is that at that time it's also uh, when when he was a college student is yeah. was uh, because she has to work in daytime yeah, and yeah, sleep yeah, in yeah. light night time yeah. and also she had no support from her family maybe she even had to support her family so um, she was quite struggled to find uh, find a way to survive yeah yeah, yeah. yes and she also gave um, some suggestion to people at our oh, age. Oh, really? cool. Cool. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> um, uh, she really uh, fo um, focused on a professional. Oh, professional. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because she thinks that uh, nowadays 
in Taiwan, we have too many colleges. Uh-huh. And yeah. Too many college students. College too many students. college graduates. <laughs> yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And she thinks that mo- those um, university uh, in lower ranks yeah. uh-huh. um, is worth less. Oh, yeah. okay. well, that's harsh. Yeah. Yeah. She thinks that mm-hmm. uh, students controversial. in those <laughs> university just want to play for four years and yeah, learn yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. And then after they graduate, they start to complain about the society, the econo- economic, yes. Yeah. She, so she believes that if you have your own professional, mm-hmm. you can find a good job and make it. Yeah. yeah. So yes. find your own professions. Yeah. Find yeah. The yeah. She you, also like encourage to you and, to yeah. maybe study in study another discipline Oh yeah, uh-huh. study two different disciplines. Yes, and combine them together, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very interesting. So, did you guys learn anything? Do what was the feeling uh, of interviewing your parents? Um, it's like was it interesting for you guys? <laughs> it's yeah. like solving a puzzle. Um, uh-huh. Before that, uh-huh. only her part of her story. Oh, but, okay. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Stories, but listen, yeah. I had a chance. I have mm-hmm. a chance to finish the puzzle. Yeah. 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 That's nice. For me, I it's hard for me to imagine. I think their um, their way of living. Yeah, it's, a completely, year, different it's a completely different time. Year, yeah. Time and somewhat, my my father told me that somewhat uh, their goals are straightforward and simple. So they haven't say so they don't have to worry too many things. They have to cho- choose from. They just have to worry about the one thing they have to survive. They have to uh, make a living. There's the only thing they care about. They care about, but they, he's, he told me that our generation was different. Yes. Since um, maybe we're not so um, we're, we're we're not so stressed from uh, make a, making a living, uh, but we have to face different kind of um, struggles. It, it's just different, not better or worse. No, yeah. Not not a matter of better or worse. Yeah, it's just different. Yeah. Yeah. It's Very seen- liberal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, somewhat. Yeah, my, I, I actually, my my dad is quite liberal in, in the in the I think is in the in, in his political attitude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Part of due to maybe yeah. his experience. Yeah, maybe, during university. maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you have any thoughts on our show today? Uh-huh. Uh, if you have any thoughts, please talk to us. Comment below and follow us on our social media on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I think YouTube and yeah. Spotify. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.